Three months of an uptrend. Is this the end? Or isn't it? Hey there, Tommy from FibonacciTraders.com here. Weekly market recap. Like, subscribe. Let's see the charts. So let's see what SPY and friends brought us in the past trading week. SPY closed the week with 1.9% to the downside. That's it. It feels like a lot more, but overall only less than 2% of the downside. We are still bullish on the weekly. Look at this. We still have higher highs, higher lows. Now, yes, the past week took out the low, lower low. Now, 545 is the support. Below it, 537. One candle, and it doesn't matter how big, how strong, and how frightening it looks, does not change the overall sentiment. And on the weekly, we are still to the upside, RSP, the equal weight ETF for the S&P, closed the week with under zero, basically under zero, went all the way to 172, then got rejected and same as the rest of the market, just pulled down. Now, the 167, the upper border of the yellow zone, needs to hold the support below it, 165 and 163. Careful because earning season is coming into boiling point this week and next week earning season is the boiling point so make sure your earnings when is the exact date and time for the stocks that you hold in your portfolio we are traders we do not trade into earnings i'm closing all my um holdings the day before the earnings if i hold a specific stock I close it one day before earnings. QQQ went down almost 4% after last week's doji. We said that this doji might represent a pullback and we got this pullback 4% one week on QQQ. We did not see this kind of week since April. Three months. Have we forgotten April? Now the 468 needs to hold the support below it. 557 and 447. Dow Jones closed the week with 0.71% to the upside. If we zoom in, let's check the daily on the Dow. We open up Tuesday, Wednesday, very bullish, and then Thursday and Friday gave all back. Now we are inside the yellow zone of the daily and the weekly. We are still above the yellow zone. The 398 area needs to hold the support. Otherwise, 394 and 389. IWM closed the week with 1.74% to the upside, holding above the upper border of the yellow zone. It was a very important area of resistance. Now needs to prove itself as support. Otherwise, 208 and 204 to the downside. Zoom in on the daily and the IWM. Look at this. We had a very, very nice Monday. Tuesday went 3.4% and then Wednesday. Thursday, Friday gave everything back, retesting the daily upper border of the yellow zone as support. We are still above the weekly uh, upper border of the yellow zone. Let's see next week where price will take, where market will take price for the SPY, for the QQQ, the Dow Jones, IWM. Earning season is coming into boiling point. Bitcoin for the time that I'm recording this video, as you can see, we still have one day and 15 hours until the weekly candle of uh, crypto will uh, will close. For now, 9.67% to the upside, breaking above the yellow zone, the 64,900, uh, very, very important level of support, resistance, support. Now, breaking above it, let's see continuation and we will see 68,800 and maybe by Monday or middle of next week, we will see new all-time highs on Bitcoin. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think on Bitcoin, Ethereum and overall the crypto land? Are we in for another super bullish run? Look at the uh, Ethereum for the time that I'm recording this video. 7.6% to the upside. Broke this downtrend since May. We had a very... A uh, clear downtrend now breaking up. Let's see continuation above the 3600 and then 38 and back above the 4000. XLF 
The financial sector ETF closed the day with 1.11% to the upside, but with a doji, this kind of a doji might represent a pullback. When the 42 area needs to hold the support, look left, trade right. It was a very important area of resistance, now needs to act as support. Below it, 41.74 and 41.18. XLU, inside candle, nothing much on the XLU. Um, holding above the 69 area, 69, support, resistance, now once again support, everything that you need, one click away with the FTI, this tool that I have developed, everything based on Fibonacci, one click away and you have everything that you need and any time frame that you need, it gives you support, resistance, buy signal, sell signal, look at the XHB, the Home Builders ETF, close the week also with the Doji, Doji all across the board, but overall ended up the week with 3.2% to the upside, the week before 10.80% uh, to the upside, overall 14% in two weeks, now the 107 needs to hold as support, be above the 113 we will see once again 117 and 122 overall the xhb in my opinion is the strongest sector of them all for now xle try to break above the yellow zone on the weekly the 93 area support resistance now the 91 needs to hold the support below it 8950 long continuation and we will see 95 and 98 yes ladies and gentlemen technical analysis and trading should be super simple strategy super simple what if and if this so this if this so this that's it this is what the fti gives you everything on your chart whether you want to trade weekly daily intraday short long you have everything on your chart if you want the fti on your chart just join the fibonacci traders gold membership you will gain access to all discord channels and to the fti on the discord we have channels for day traders tra channels for swing traders channels for crypto for forex no forex we are still building it hopefully we'll soon be also forex um, futures everything that you want so check the gold membership of the Fibonacci traders. Magnificent 7, look at this. Nasty, nasty uh, last 10 days. Not surprising on the daily. Let's zoom out on the weekly. We are now lower highs, lower low on the weekly. Now the 45 area, all this area, the 44, 70, 45 needs to all the support. Otherwise, 43 and 41. 50 SOXX continues its way to the downside, 9% on the SOXX, the semiconductor ETF, in just one week. Look at this. This week in July, 9.02. This week in April, 9.02. Same weekly candle. Now let's see downtrend continuation and we will see 232 and 224 bearish on all time frames kre went up total on the weekly 7.5 percent and previous week 8.6 percent total of 15 16 percent in just two weeks together with the xhb these are the two hottest sectors now, as long as we are above the 53 area, the upper border of the yellow zone, which is a very, very important area of resistance, because it was a very important area of support. Now, once again, it's all the support. Long continuation, once again, 57, 70, 61, and 65 to the upside. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Don't forget to hit the, notific the notification bell because my top stocks to watch video is coming up in just less than 24 hours. You don't want to miss it. Earning season, the market is in a turmoil. You want to be super ready. And so you don't have to scroll hundreds and hundreds of names. I do it for you. I scroll over 900 names each and every weekend to bring you the best A plus setups, the top stocks for the coming week, for long, for short. So hit the notification bell. And if you're already there, 
hit the subscribe and check the links in the description below. Choose your path to financial freedom with me. We go hand by hand until you will start making real money and you will start to see real results through trading. Apple closed the week with 2.7% to the downside. Overall, only 2.7. Now, the 220 area needs all the support. Below it, 209 and Apple earnings coming up on August 1st. Microsoft closed the week with 3.6% to the downside. But look at this. The FTI already gave us sell signal bearish on all time frames, which means no long on Microsoft. And if you're already long, maybe it's time to manage your risk a little bit more tighter. In my opinion, as long as we are above the lower board of this option channel, this red line, we are still good to hang on our, on our um, long, but Microsoft also July 29th, Monday, not coming Monday, Monday after end of this month will be super, super interesting. Nvidia closed the week with 8.75% to, to the downside. And look at the yellow zone, the most important zone of support and resistance. According to the FTI, the 116 area, super important area of support in the past six months. Yes, we got also the sell signal also on the daily and the weekly, sorry, bearish on three out of four time frames. And it doesn't mean that we need to start going short on Nvidia. It just means that this uptrend for now is officially over. Continuation to the downside, 108 and 100 Nvidia next week, Wednesday not next week, it's around eight more days from the time to come I'm recording this video. August, ah, it's August, sorry, my mistake. August 28th, still have time, one more month. Amazon breaking this option channel, but one candle does not change the overall sentiment. We are still hanging above the lower border of the yellow zone, but Amazon looking not good with 5.8% to the downside, bearish on all time frames. So if you ask, is this the time to go long on Amazon? This is your answer right here. Bearish on all time frames. Don't try to catch falling knife. Everything now looks that the market overall wants some kind of a pullback. Bulls wants to go on summer vacation. And if bulls are going on vacation, you know who replaced them bears and bears wants to take the market down look at tesla close the week with 3.6 percent overall since the first week of july which was 27 percent to the upside we got resistance at the 271 why because the 271 was a very very tough resistance during june august and december of 2023 now looks like tesla with earnings coming up Tuesday after the bell, so be careful with Tesla. Anything can happen with Tesla. It can go up 15%, it can go down 15% post earnings. We as traders, we need to protect the downside. Don't be a hero. Now, this area, this red line, that was a very, very tough resistance for the higher, for the lower highs since November of 21 bro beginning of july now we might go and retest this area the 220 area as support netflix overall went down 2.2 percent to the downside bearish on all time frames now the 619 needs to hold the support below it 601 netflix had earnings last thursday two days ago Overall, held pretty nice. Now let's see the 619 holding a support. AMD, what's going on with AMD? Just flashed 16.5% to the downside. Now 141 is the next support. Below it, 117 earnings on, in, uh, on AMD, July 30th. 
Google closed the week with 4% to the downside. Overall, as you can see, this uptrend line is still holding resistance for the higher highs. It's a good resistance as long as Google is stuck to this red line from above or from below. We are still in an uptrend. Now the 168 area needs to hold the support below it. 153 below the 168 we can finally say that this uptrend is over but let's see earnings coming up tuesday ladies and gentlemen three days from now tuesday after market is closed meta look at this wednesday july 31st earnings coming up meta already in the past two trading weeks 12% to the, to the downside. Now the 462 area needs to hold the support. Otherwise, 444 and 414. We have here a double top scenario on the weekly. Let's see if this scenario will get validated. We will see below 414. We will see 380, 360, and maybe all the way back to the 333 always 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 protect the downside shopify with 2.67 percent to the downside this trend line once again proves itself as a very tough resistance it was resistance since february and each and every time shopify tried to break above it got rejected and this past week was not exceptional and shopify in the past six week very very tight price section 62 as support and all this area the 67 68 area resistance 62 needs to hold the support otherwise 56 and 49 to the downside shopify still have time micro strategy what a week what a friday we had 27 percent to the upside if we zoom in we can see everything most of this uptrend was during friday 14.3 percent to the upside now let's a continuation and we will see 1940 and 21 45 micro strategy uh, i think beginning of august they have split 1 to 10. let's a continuation 2000 above it 23 56 and 28 micro strategy july 30th earnings coming up smci closed the week with 12 percent to the downside and you know this triangle of course you do because you follow me on twitter you follow me on youtube and we draw drew this triangle few weeks back and we are still inside this triangle with this area the 950 area very 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 tough resistance since april Look at this, three months of a very tough resistance. We are still above this trend line. This trend line helps us to identify the higher lows, but we are under this trend line that helps us identify the lower highs. Consolidation, let's see where SMCI will go from here. Prepare for both sides, AVGO in the past one two three four five trading weeks no price section whatsoever on avgo 170 as resistance 159 as support we are bearish on all time frames it doesn't mean we need to go short on avgo broadcom it just means that this uptrend is not holding now the 152 needs all the support otherwise 144 to the downside eli lily close the week very very nasty candle 9.6 percent to the downside one week just wiped out the previous five weeks of gains now the 841 needs to hold the support below it 812 still have time to eli lily's earnings overall earning season is coming up into a boiling point make sure you have your stop loss no one knows what will happen in the next candle no one knows how the market will react to each and every earnings report remember we have tesla and google coming up next week 
every direction Tesla will take after the earnings, every direction that Google will take after the earnings will affect the total market. The only thing we have full control of is to protect the downside. The upside will take care of itself. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you find it helpful, educational. If so, like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. My top stocks to watch for the coming week. Incoming in this weekend. Until the next video, stay safe.